Good morning, everyone. This morning, I'd like to share a reflection with you from some spiritual reading. We are now very close to Christmas. The prophecy of Isaiah is now about to be filled, where he says, the maiden is with child and will soon give birth to a son whom she will call Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The Hebrew, Hebrew people were familiar with the prophecies which singled out the descendants of Jacob, primarily as bearers of the messianic promises. But they could not imagine for the life of them that the Messiah would be God himself made man. But when the time had fully come, God sent forth his son born of a woman. And this woman, chosen and predestined from all eternity to be the mother of the Savior, had consecrated her virginity to God, renouncing the honor of counting the Messiah among her direct descendants. And she is prefigured in the book of Proverbs where it says, ages ago I was set up at the first before the beginning of the earth. We can obtain great benefits at this time by keeping close to Our Lady and showing our love for her. Mary appears as the virgin mother of the Messiah, she who will give all of her love to Jesus with an undivided heart as a prototype of that self-surrender that our Lord will ask from many souls. In the fullness of time, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, where Our Lady dwelt. In popular devotion, Mary is represented as recollected in prayer while she hears most fervently of God's plan for her and learns her vocation. The angel says to her, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you as we read in today's gospel. The virgin gives her full consent to the divine will. Be it done unto me according to your word. From this moment on, she accepts her vocation and begins to put it into practice. And her vocation is to be mother of God and mother of all peoples. My brothers and sisters, it's important to remember that not only is Christ our brother. Not only is God the Father, our Father, but Mary, because of her vocation as mother of God, has become our mother. That's part of her vocation. So never forget that she is our mother. We can fly to her whenever we need help, whenever we have petitions. <clears throat> Who better to ask for, our, for intercessions on our behalf? I'm reminded of the the wedding at Cana, where Christ very specifically says, no, it's not time for me to do this, but his mother persists, and she gets what she wants. So don't be afraid to turn to her and ask for her intercessions. <clears throat>